Hi Steve from Wandsworth Physiotherapy. So I've been seeing quite a few people over the last week or two coming back from skiing with uh, knee injuries. I remember from some of my previous videos that the most common knee injury that you're gonna suffer when you're skiing is an a ACL injury, the anterior cruciate ligament inside the knee. Now I've seen a couple of people that have had complete or partial tears and it just prompted me to do a little video on how you could tell if you've done one or the other. So remember the most common mechanism of injury is some kind of twist on the slopes, the bind is not going and your knee twisting and you will typically have quite quick swelling in your knee within a couple of hours because the joint bleeds and the joint swells up. Now the distinguishing factors between whether you've done a partial or a complete tear will be whether you've heard a pop. So if you don't hear a pop, then perhaps you haven't completely ruptured the ligament. If you hear a pop, it's more indicative of a complete rupture. And then the second sort of key factor would be if you're getting giving way. So you're coming off the slopes, you're walking around and your knee gives way and you collapse and end up on the floor wondering what's just happened. Again, if you've completely ruptured your ACL, there's more likely that you're going to have these episodes of giving way. Whereas if you've had a partial tear, the ligament's still mostly intact and you still have some stability in the knee. So either way, if you think you've partially or completely ruptured your ACL, then the best thing to do is pop down and see the physio. They'll be able to do some tests on the ligaments. They'll be able to see whether they think you've partially or, or completely ruptured it and, and send you for an MRI, most likely to confirm the diagnosis.